Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for the season finale of Once Upon a Time. So let's talk about this episode. This was a two hour episode of Once Upon a Time, so kind of like a movie going on with this episode. Uh, so what happens is that the author makes a spell on the town and reverses everything. Uh, he makes his own happily ever after, which is not allowed, you know, to happen. And the only one that survives is Henry. So he goes into this world to try to destroy the author's happily ever after. And we see that this world is totally twisted. Regina's Snow White. Snow White's evil. Um, Emma knows everything, but she's trapped and can't do anything about it. Rumple is a knight in charming armor. Uh, and yeah, there's just a lot of little twists and turns um, with this new world, and pretty much an hour and a half of the show is trying to reverse this spell and to get everyone there happily ever after and to destroy the author. Um, things that happen in between is that Hook dies and Regina dies, and Regina is actually the savior of the story. So everything's happily ever after, people get together, Everyone survives this, but of course we still have the problem with Rumpel having the darkness in his heart. So now we get to see that the darkness is out of his heart, killed the the, po the previous author, not the author we know, the previous author, and um, goes into the world. And it was going to go into Regina, and Emma's like, hell no, I'm going to go save Regina. Now... Emma is the Dark One and is part of Rumpel's Stillskin Sword, so Rumpel has no power, Emma's the Dark One, and Henry's the author? <laughs> That's what happens in this episode. Um, I have to say, I enjoyed an hour and a half of this episode. I loved the, the twist and the turns of um, this other world what if story, especially Regina. Again, Regina's my favorite character, so to see her being Snow White, but also kind of like a Robin Hood, I thought that was a really interesting twist. And I love that Henry actually had a really big part in this episode. I haven't loved Henry's character always, but he actually was really good in this episode. So uh, that's something I enjoyed, was actually Henry doing something. And him becoming the author was okay. It was pretty predictable. But I was like, all right, he's the author. I could I could deal with that. And hopefully they don't utilize that after. Um, but yeah, love the twists and turns. Love that Henry found Emma and Emma knew everything. Uh, Snow White as evil as the evil queen was awesome. Uh, and I haven't been loving Snow White's story uh, and Prince Charming's story this, uh, this season, but I thought that kind of made up for some stuff. So interesting twists and turns um, in this newly developed world. Enjoyed that. Enjoyed that Regina was the savior and she had her happily ever after in the end. Uh, so those are all good things. And then the last half an hour I was like, what? <laughs> uh, so they're gonna bring in Merlin and are you looking more into the sorcerer hat, I'd rather, ha I'd rather have had Hercules or Aladdin or something like that. Um, I feel like this is the same story they're trying to tell, the mysterious person. They have to go get it. Oh no, everyone's going to turn dark again. This is the same exact story we had with the villain story. I'm like, uh, I don't want to deal with this. Um, one thing I was happy with, though, is that they didn't make Regina evil. If they did that, I think I would have quit this show because I'd be like, no way, too much development. So I'm glad Emma made that, actually said that. It's like, you went through way too much. I'm going to save you. And that actually is a lot towards your relationship. Um, if you like Regina and Emma's fr um, friendship, you get to see that grow even more in this episode. And Emma sacrificed herself for Regina. Um, also, a nice little Regina thing that happened in this episode was that Regina picked Henry instead of Robin Hood, um, knowing that, you know, her supreme love is for her her son. Even though she loves Robin Hood, she can't have her son die. So uh, I enjoyed that too, just showing that obviously that's the common de denominator is that they both love Henry. Uh, so I love how much their friendship has developed and that's one of my favorite things of the show. But again, I don't know what direction this next season's gonna go because this season was, this half of the season, I like the Frozen story arc, but this half of the season was just okay. Um, a lot of the villain stuff didn't really connect to the finale at all, except the Lily story, which didn't really get a conclusion in this episode. We'll get a conclusion in next season and she's gonna search for her father. I'm like, ah, oh, another kind of predictable thing, but at least it, it could be an interesting route to go. And I like that she's a dragon. I think that's kind of cool, even though the effects aren't 
as awesome as they could be. Uh, I think it's pretty cool she's a dragon. So overall, I like the What If story, and I honestly love the What If story. I was having a really good time watching that, but I don't know the direction they're going to go for next season, especially since last season finale was that Frozen cliffhanger everyone was talking about. And then you got to get this melodramatic, iffy cliffhanger here. I've honestly rather had Rumpel die because I did not like what they did with Rumpel's character this season than have this, oh, darkness is in the world once again, let's deal with villains, heroes, even though that's what the show's about, but I want some lightness to the show again. We've dealt with the darkness, let's get some light side to the show, and of course they had the push to darkness again. So, yeah, overall, don't know where the next season's gonna go, but I do think it's worth watching the, the two episodes. Um, I, I had a fun time with it until the last half an hour. Uh, so we'll see where it goes the, the next season. But let me know in the comments below what you thought about the episode. Of course, I'll be reviewing Once Upon a Time next fall when it does return. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, in the description below, there's links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.